just a few months ago, my life changed completely. Just a few months ago, I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Whether you realise it or not, memories are such an important part of your life. They may be good or bad, but they have helped to form who you are. And sometimes you just don't understand how important they are until they begin to leave you. Every morning I wake up feeling as though I have left a part of me behind in my sleep. And I can't help but wonder, is this a part that I will never ever get back? This is a battle I now have to fight every single day of my life. I cling onto my memories as if they are my most prized possessions because I never want to let them go. I feel disconnected from the world around me because I'm not the person I once was. The disease is taking complete control over me. I'm constantly losing focus and there's nothing I can do to prevent it. I think I like the Dalby or the Grand National. I think possibly the Dalby or the Grand National. I think possibly the Dalby or the Grand National. I think possibly the Dalby or the Grand National. I think possibly the Dalby or the Grand National. I think possibly the Dalby or the Grand National. I think possibly the Dalby or the Grand National. I think possibly the Dalby or the Grand National. I think possibly the Dalby or the Grand National. I get worried about their horses. I think they're going to call my old one. They're not going to get home. Yeah. Shopping? Yeah. Shopping for you. Shopping for you. Well, I have. I put them in piles. But they don't have to be in the town. The world's going national. I think possibly the Dower Baby does it. Now I barely even know my own daughter. Who are you? Who are you? It's me. It's me, Mum. Karen. Get out. Get out. Mum? Reading often helps me. There's one story about a young girl running around the woods and I read it again and again because it reminds me of my own childhood. I just wish I could relive those precious moments in my life. My husband is very important to me and he's always been there through thick and thin. But there are times when I look into his eyes and see a complete stranger staring straight back at me. Only small flashes and memories help me to remember who he is. Now, all of these memories are being torn away from me and I can feel myself fading away. I refuse to be a victim of this disease. I don't want sympathy. I just want people to understand that although I am struggling, I'm still holding on to every single piece of life I have left.